Now batting for the Pumas. Number six, Dustin Crenshaw. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Husky Field, home of the six-time state champion Huskies. This is Benjamin Gerdick, the voice of Hamilton High. And this is your other host, Colin Hansen. First pitch is going to be fouled off. We're here today as the Pumas of Perry High School battle your Hamilton Huskies. We're looking for a good game, a rematch from Tuesday's game, where the Huskies unfortunately took the loss. <laughs> That one over the center, the second baseman's head. It's going to be shortstop's hand, actually. It'll sneak in the center for a base hit. And it'll bring up the next batter for the Pumas, number seven. Now batting for the Pumas, number seven, Trenton Allen. First pitch there, gets him for a strike. Count will be 0-1. Runner on first base for the Pumas. No outs here in the top of the first. Shane Murphy on the mound for the Huskies. Swing and a miss for strike two. Shane Murphy, a pitcher we haven't seen a whole lot of there. Exactly. We've only seen him pretty much in the relief yeah. of different pitchers, but never starting. Yes, but he has been extremely effective in the games we've seen pitch. Pickoff attempt there. No good. Runner will stay on first. Another pickoff attempt there. Yet again, no good. Count is 0-2. No outs here on top of the first. Benjamin, who's at the bat for the Pumas? At bat is number seven, uh, Trenton Palace, the first baseman for the Pumas. Trenton Palace, first baseman. And who's on for the Pumas right now? Breaking ball there, just a bit outside. He'll go for a ball. Count will be one and two. Uh, that's Dustin Crenshaw on first for the Pumas. Pickoff attempt again. Not in time. Runner will stay on first. Count is one and two. That one's going to be chopped up to second. Throw over to first. Ooh. Looks like that weird hop there, not going to be able to get in time. Now batting for the Pumas, number 23, CJ Valdez. As I was saying, weird hop there, awkward play. The fielding end not able to turn to, didn't get deep enough quick, and not able to even get one out of it. Just a weird hop to play. Runners on first and second now for the Pumas. Pitch low and away there. It'll go for a ball. Count will be 1 and 0. Fastball just a bit outside. Count will move to 2 and 0. Two and count, no outs here on the top of the first. Runners on first and second for the Pumas. So that pitch is fouled off. Count on move to two and one. Two and one, the count. Here's the pitch. That one a bit too high. Count a move to three and one. 
That one's going to be hit straight up to the first baseman, Tyler Wilson, on the play. And that'll be the first out of the ball game. Now batting for the Pumas. Number 22, Kaysen Alexander. One out here in the top of the first. Runners on first and second for the Pumas. Shane Murphy on the mound for the Huskies. Breaking ball there. Threatens a throw over to first. That pitch will go for a strike. Count will be 0-1. Another breaking ball there. He gets him for another strike. I move the count to 0 2. Now, Benjamin, it's a nice sunny day here at Husky Field in Chandler, Arizona. Oh nice my. day for some baseball. Oh, it's think? beautiful. I'll tell you what, the fresh smell of hot dogs. Third breaking ball in a row there. That one not able to get him for a strike. Count will be one and two. The smell of the popcorn, the smell of the hot dogs, a sold-out crowd of about 15 fans. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, there's no other place I'd rather be. Absolutely. A little toasty out, but other than that, beautiful. Partly yeah, oh cloudy man. out. Fantastic. That one's going to be belted in the shallow left. Play is made, and that'll be the second out of the top of the first. I'll bring out number four for the Pumas. Now batting for the Pumas, number four, Bryson Tamboni. Still two runners on, one in scoring position for the Pumas. Two and outs in the yeah, top of the first. What's the uh, Huskies' lineup looking like today, Benjamin? Break, ooh, breaking ball gets him for a swing and a miss. So let's see. Pitching, Shane Murphy, of course. Shortstop, Dustin Bermudez. Center field, Michael Bruiser. Right field, McLaughlin. First base, Tyler Wilson. Second base, Brandon Hill. Third base, Will Maxey. Behind the plate. Kyle Hassler, and out in left field. Ooh, is runners go. Irwin. Throw over to third. Be a successful steal for the Pumas. So that's what our lineup's looking like. Nice, nice. Runners now on second and third for the Pumas. Two outs here in the top of the first. Lefty Shane Murphy on the mound. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. And that'll end the inning. So that's it for the top of the first inning. Seeing them some heat <laughs> from Shane Murphy. As always. As always. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back again for the bottom of the first. Stay tuned for more.
How do we have an average live view duration of six minutes if we have to live <laughs> Number five, Rock Selby. And we're back here in the bottom of the first inning. Rock Selvage on up at the plate with the Huskies. Colin, what are you expecting from here? Well, we're seeing a lot out of Brock Selvage at the plate. Ooh, and he starts off early there with a ground ball to short. Looked promising coming off the bat. Won't be much, though, for the Huskies' offense. But it will bring up shortstop number four, Dustin Bermudez. All right, here we go. Now batting for the Huskies, number four, Dustin Bermudez. Yeah, Brock's done a lovely job playing DH for us and a little bit of pitcher and even a little bit of outfield this year. Mm-hmm. First pitch gets Dustin for a strike. Count will be 0-1. One out here in the bottom of the first. Fastball outside. Not good enough. Kind of even up at one and one. Belt a fastball over to short. Play is made, and that will be the second out of the bottom of the first. Lucky play there. That ball was scorched. Now batting for the Husky, number 22, Michael Bruiser. Bruise man. Up the the bruise the plate. man. I haven't seen a lot man. of the bruise man in the last couple of games. Hopefully he gets active here. So that first pitch gets him for a strike. But yeah, we miss our bruise man. Mm -hmm. Well, he's the man. Indeed. Don't Hopefully. put a bruise on the other team. <laughs> Hopefully he gets something going here for this Huskies offense. So that next pitch gets going for a ball. Kind of even up at one and one. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Scoreless game so far. Breaking ball there, gets it for a strike. Count will be one and two. You know what I find weird is that all the baseball players call each other babe. Babe. Is that? Yeah. Let's get it going, babe. You know, heard that I have not heard that yet. I hear from the dugout. Maybe we'll have to ask some of the players after the game. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up with each other? I like it though. You know, it's funny. It's cute. <laughs> you know, love each other, you know? Say love. <laughs> <laughs> That last pitch goes for a ball. Count will be two and two for the bruise man, Michael Bruiser. Oh, shot in the dirt. It's going to make it a full count. And no, Benjamin, it is not a movie scene. Full count, two outs, does not automatically mean it's a movie scene, Benjamin. Well, I mean, it's, it's a dramatic scene. You know it's happening? a dramatic scene. I'll give you that. Oh, would you look at that? Held off. <laughs> would you just look at it? Just fouled off uh, the first baseline. You never cease to amaze me, Benjamin. You never seem to amaze me, Colin. <laughs> wow, using my own joke against me. I'm now. kidding, I'm kidding. Wow, that one hurt. Joke time, is that, is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> Going to foul off another one there. Going to keep the keep the at-bat alive. Full count still. Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. That's something you don't hear often. Full count still. <laughs> Very true. Michael Bruiser up the plate for the Huskies. If there's anybody who knows how to work a full count, it is Bruiser and McLaughlin. Indeed. Both great hitters up there. Be able to work a walk out of it. That'll put a runner on first for the Huskies. And it'll keep the inning alive for J.D. McLaughlin. Now batting for the Huskies. 
Number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. Well, J.D. McLaughlin at the plate. Oh, yeah. Ooh, right down the boulevard for a strike. Ooh, hey. It's for Bueno. He'll work with an 0-1 count here, two outs. The bottom of the first inning, runner on first. His pal Michael Bruiser over there. Breaking ball, check swing. It's a piece of it for a foul ball. The count will move to 0-2. You can hear the disgruntled tone in J.D. McLaughlin as he fouled that one off. <laughs> I heard a grunt, you know. Yeah, check swing there. Probably didn't want to get a piece didn't of it. Make but any ended contact, up, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll get him for a strike. That'll make the count 0-2. Mm -hmm. hey, it's not just me. <laughs> Pitch go for a ball. Move the count to one and two. Umpire cleaning off the plate. Making it nice and dirty. For hopefully somebody soon to cross over the plate. Hopefully a Husky pick off attempt. Hopefully, of course. You know, Benjamin, what do you think? Husky or a Puma? No fight. Who do you think wins? Oh, absolutely a Husky. See, that's what I was saying. Hands down. Hands not even down. a contest. And I'm not biased at all, I would say. Any uh, friends to pick off temp there? Uh, a little biased. Uh, maybe maybe just, the just slightest bit biased. Just enough. Maybe, you know, just maybe, but... Enough where you still care for the other team. <laughs> Puma's wanted that one. I'm just not going to give it to him. And he will stay alive with a 2-2 two and two count for right fielder number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. Go, put a two up there. McLaughlin steps out. And back into the box. Two and two is the count. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Runner on first. And runner goes, and he will advance safely to second. Now in scoring position for McLaughlin. So we have a little catcher-pitcher meeting on the mound for the Pumas. Catcher-pitcher-second baseman meeting. <laughs> yeah, an interesting combination. Very interesting. It is a full count now, three and two. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Let's see what J.D. McLaughlin can do for your Huskies. Runner in scoring position for him here. No, I told you. The only two that work up a full count. Oh my. Yeah, that's true, you did. I'll give you that one. I thought you said it was one of those movie scenes. It's not one of those movie scenes. I'm proud of you, Ben. It would, it would be nice if it was. It would be. Well, actually, we had, no, because then we would be down. And JD able to work a walk too. Two lengthy at bats, two walks worked. Some great at bats from our Huskies today. T. Willie. <laughs> and yes, I will bring up first baseman T. Willie. Now batting for the Huskies. Number eight, Tyler Wilson. T. Willie up to bat now. Yeah, There's switch hitter Tyler on. Wilson. Oh, man. Yeah. Playing, playing lefty now. Yeah, he'll go against the right-handed pitcher, batting from the left-handed hitting side of the plate with runners on first and second. He's going to smack one over the second oh. baseman, and it's going to get past him. In comes the Bruiser. Runner. In comes McLaughlin. That's going to be There's one, one There's two. And a triple Andy, for oh first my. baseman. Tyler Wilson, T. Willie. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you all about it. A two RBI triple. Wow. One pitch triple too. That's With two wild. outs there, the Huskies are able to do two back-to-back -back lengthy at bats, work two walks, and then get a triple, score two runs. Incredible by the Huskies offense. Now batting for the Huskies, number 20, Will Maxey. 
As you just heard there, Will Maxey up to bat now. He does have a runner on third, too, with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Now that one's banging on the trap door there. Count will be 1 0 there for third baseman number 20, Will Maxey. Breaking ball again in the dirt. Count will move to 2 0. And then yet another pitch in the dirt. He's coming, he's coming, Runners he's coming, coming. Home. Oh, ho, ho. Now that's what I'm talking about. And with two outs in the inning, the Huskies are able to score three runs successfully so far. He stole wow. home plate. Well, technically. Oh, on what a, do you mean technically? He did. Well, it's not really a steal. Uh, it was a wild yeah. pitch, and he crossed. A wild but. pitch, and he... Okay, yeah, that is true. That is true. But, yeah, incredible. Two back-to-back. Full counts worked, able to work walks. Oh. And another walk worked here. It's going to be the third walk worked with two outs. And the fourth batter seen with two outs here. Pumas can't catch a break. We do have a meeting out at the mound. Looks like there might be a pitching change for the Pumas. Oh, looks like they're going to leave him in on second thought. Let's go, B. Two more. Now batting for the Husky, number seven, Brandon Hill. Second baseman, number seven, up to bat now. Runner on first for him here. Still two outs, three runs already scored in this half inning with two outs. Two walks worked and a stand, or a, not a stand-up triple, but a one-pitch triple by first baseman, our favorite, T. Welle. Switch-handed hitter, switch hitter, excuse me, Tyler Wilson. That first pitch is going to go for a strike here on one's account. That one is going to be chopped over to third in the throw. In time, that's going to end the top, or excuse me, the bottom of the first inning. Your score after one. Hamilton three, Perry nothing. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. Well, and we're back here in the top of the second inning. Michael Zinter here up to bat for the Pumas. The pitch from Murphy. Right down the boulevard, but too close inside. We'll go for a ball. This 
They're going to chop at it, fouled off down the third baseline. Ooh, to count to one and one. The pitch. Right down the alleyway. Moving the count to one and two. Michael Zinter, the right fielder for the Pumas, makes a chop at it. And back to throw to first, not in time. Michael Zinter will be safely on first. Ryan Lucero coming up to bat for the Pumas. Third baseman, the pitch. Going high. Going up, T. Willie going for it. Who's got it? Brandon Hill's got it. Making the play one out. Now batting for the Pumas. Number 25, Adam Parra. Adam Parr, the designated hitter for the pitcher, number 11. Pickoff attempt, not in time. Oh, Adam. Normally I'm on play by play, but I don't have to do this right now. He's on color, so we kind of switch back and forth. Hey Murphy, here's the pitch. A little bit up high. A little bit high, moving the count to one and zero with one out here in the top of the second ah! inning. Pick up a tap, not in time. I've said it once, I've said it again, Colin. I think that every time uh, there's a pick up attempt, there's counting his ball. Really, you think so, Benjamin? I really do think so. Well, pitch out, yeah. I don't know about a pick off attempt. Ooh, breaking ball there. A little bit high, more like knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> Count will be 2-0, oh. one out here in the top of the second inning. Runner on first for the Pumas. Michael's enter up at first base. Ryan Lucero. A little bit inside. No, Adam Parra up at the plate now. Michael's enter on first. Strike called. Inside. Now batting for the Puma. Number three, Connor Abernathy. Connor Abernathy up at the plate for the Pumas. Two runners on, one runner in scoring position. The pitch from Murphy. Swung hard, foul ball. Connor Abernathy, the left fielder for the Pumas. Haven't seen much work out of him today. Let's see how he us here up at the plate. Murphy looks back, here's the pitch. Choppy swing, second base. First base, a double play. Great play there by pitcher number 24, Shane Murphy there as he gets the pitch hit back up to him. Indeed. Able to turn two with it. Mm -hmm. Great inning by the Huskies defensively all around. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're gonna take a short break here in between innings. Stay tuned for more.
And we're back here again as that first pitch goes for a ball. First pitch at the bottom of the second inning. Count's going to be 1-0 and for catcher number 9, Kyle Hasler. It's a little piece of a breaking ball there. Fouls it off. Count will be 1-1. One and one. Pitch there, low and in the dirt. Count will move to two and one. No outs, nobody on here. First batter at the bottom of the second inning. They want a bit outside. Count will move to three and one. And another walk worked. Wow, Benjamin, I believe that is the third walk out of the last five batters we've seen there for the Huskies. I think so. And we got a pinch runner. Isaiah Adams will run for Kyle Hassler. I believe that might be called a courtesy runner. Now batting for the Huskies. Number one, Easton Irwin. Easton Irwin out to bat now. Runner on first. No outs here in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch gets him for a strike. Count a move to 0 1. Pickoff attempt. Count stays at 0-1. Threatens pick off there. Breaking ball there. Ooh, knocks the glove off the pitcher. Pitcher able to throw over to second in time. That one smoked right back at the pitcher. Actually takes his glove off of him. What do you think of that one there, Benjamin? Wow. That was quite something. I don't really see that every day. Yeah, and able to get the pitch off the ground and over to second in time. Exactly. Probably went a very hard hitter. Yeah, impressive. Well, that's going to bring up DH number five, Brock Selvage. Now batting for the Husky. Number five, Brock Selvage. Selvich at the bat now. Big bat for the Huskies. One out here in the bottom of the second. Runner on first. Runner goes. And the throw. They're going to say in time. Easton Irwin had an incredible jump there. Able does not, however, excuse me, is not able to get there and in a bag in time. It'll be two outs now in the bottom of the second inning. Selvich still up to bat for the Huskies. See what he can do here with no base runners. 0 oh, one's a count, and here's pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Kind of leaving up at one and one. Oh, and looked a bit outside. They're gonna call it a strike. Count will be one and two. Spikes that one in the dirt. That'll even up the count at two and two. Hey, 
Fastball too low. We're we'll making a full count. No, Benjamin. I see you gesturing over there. Bummer. I'm not giving in. It's not a movie scene. <laughs> Three and two's count. Two outs. Gets a piece of that one. Hit right into the catcher's glove, though. And then I'll end the inning. After two, your score. Hamilton three, Perry nothing. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. Stay tuned for more. And we're back here to start the third inning. Pitcher spot up for the Pumas. Shane Murphy gets him for a strike in the pitcher duel. On one scout. Oh, excuse me. Doesn't Crenshaw's not the pitcher. Thought I heard the, the Puma dugout uh, calling for number six to get him out of the inning before. I don't know how a shortstop gets you out of an inning, but we'll see here as he follows that one off. A very hard pitch thrown by Shane Murphy. One and two is the count. Lefty on lefty matchup. Breaking ball fouled off. Count will stay at one and two. Murphy working fast here. Swing and a miss. That's going to be a strikeout for pitcher number four, 24, excuse me, Shane Murphy. It's going to bring up number seven of the Pumas. Now batting for the Pumas, number seven, Trenton Palace. First pitch going to be smacked and will sneak through into right. Tried for a 9-3. They're actually pretty close. McLaughlin got an arm on him out there in right field. Almost got it in there. However, it will be a base hit for the Pumas, and he'll put a runner on first. Now batting for the Pumas, number 23, C.J. Valdez. You just heard there is C.J. Valdez of the Puma up to bat now. One out here in the top of the third, runner on first. First pitch goes for a ball there. Get some first strike on the next pitch. It'll even up the count on one on one. Oh, 
Schwing and a miss. One and two is the count. Runner on first, one out here in the top of the third. <laughs> Fastball in the dirt. It'll even up the count at two and two. One's going to be smacked over to shortstop. Throws over to second. In time, throw will not be made over to first. They will get the lead runner on second, though. That'll make it two outs here in the top of the third. Runner on first again for number 22 of the Pumas. Now batting for the Pumas. Number 22, Kaysen Alexander. Pickoff attempt, not in time. Shane Murphy reading the pitch. The pitch, right down the boulevard, breaking ball, going for a strike. Another pickoff attempt. No good. Count stays it. 0 and 1. Two outs. It seems every inning has gotten the two outs, and then something happens. And the pitch down low. Low and inside for a ball. For a ball. Like you're from Brooklyn. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's my line, Benjamin. Well, where are you then? <laughs> start, start talking. It's fiddling with some technical stuff off stream. That was your phone. I was plugging in my phone, Benjamin. Nice, nice try. Don't expose me like that. Well. <laughs> really, you play Candy Crush at all? The pitch. Ooh. Ooh, nasty breaking ball there to end the top of the third inning. Wow. And to answer your question, Benjamin, I do not. Oh, I'm sorry. Play Candy Crush. I oh, did at God, one point. I though. love Candy Crush. You know what? It does. Um, that actually does not surprise me. I know several. Uh, let's old say people. elderly. Yes, I was going to say Just elderly say old people. people. And you, uh, you remind me of the older people in my life, Benjamin. Is that a compliment? It depends how you take it, but you know. Sure. You wear slacks and. I wear slacks and. Top hats, button-ups. Cuban, Cuban shirts, kind of? Yeah. What, you what, know, what every do I call day. them? What? My, uh... can't remember what I call my shirts. Oh, my cabana shirts. Cabana shirts. I couldn't even think of it for a minute. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of cabana shirts. I'm wearing one right now, actually. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take a quick break. And uh, we'll be back. Stay tuned for more Husky Baseball. Oh. 
Now, batting for the Husky. Number four, Dustin Bermudez. Oh, wow! Here. Right over Coach Wood's head there. We're back here to start the bottom of the third inning. Oh, excuse me. We're, We're back, back here to, to start. <laughs> Go ahead, Benjamin. Uh, you, I, was, I was just going to say what you said. We're back in the top of the third, bottom of the third inning. Pardon me. Another foul ball. Fouls off the first two pitches there. Count's going to be 0 and 2. Shortstop number four, Dustin Bermuda, is up to the plate. Pitching the dirt there. Not really sure what the holdup is here. Well, it was a brief. Uh, catch your pitcher meeting on the mound. We're back. Two and two is the count. No outs in the bottom of the third inning. Bermudez up at the plate. The pitch. Low and outside to work up a full count. Now, we don't really see many full counts out of Bermudez, do we? Not very many, no. Not very many. This is, this is, a, this is a change. Let's see what he can do here. Chops went over to second. And throw it first in time. That'll put him away. Be the first out of the bottom of the third inning. And it's going to bring up, I believe, is that Michael Bruiser? It is Michael Bruiser. Now, batting for the Husky. Number 22, Michael Bruiser. Bruise man. The Bruise man. The Bruiser, the pitch, oh, yeah. upstairs, for a bowl. Now, Carla, what's ball in Spanish? You know? Ball? Pelota. 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 Ooh, Whoa. gives one a ride over to right center. Going, going. See you later, ball. And an opposite field home run for outfielder number 22, Michael Bruiser. Now that is what I'm talking about. You can hang a star on that baby. Let me tell you all about it. Indeed. Woo. An impressive hit there. He smacked that one. What a hit, kid. It's going to make you your go. score. Hamilton 4, Perry 0. And it's going to bring up right fielder number 23. J.D. McLaughlin. Let's go, J.D. First pitch there goes for a ball. I missed one because of you, Colin. How is that my fault, Benjamin? Because you kept talking. Benjamin, you didn't throw your hand up in time. No, I'm sorry. I cannot be blamed for that. I'm Isn't still going to blame you anyway. <laughs> Next pitch there goes for a ball. Two nose count. Yeah, you can't blame that on me, Benjamin. I know, I really shouldn't, but. I mean, you will anyway, this pitch. A high and outside. <laughs> Three and O's count. Another catcher pitcher meeting up on the mound. I believe they're talking. He's saying, get it together. <laughs> I know that's what I would say if I was the catcher. Get it together, man. You got this. Come on, let's win the game. Benjamin, could you even get out, get down into the catcher stance? Not at all. <laughs> I can hardly sit in a chair, let alone squat <laughs> down like that. Big part of the field. Big part of the field. Three and one's the count. One out in the bottom of the third. Ah! Oh, one's going to be hit, hiding into the infield. Second base, one's going to drift over and make the catch. You can hear how upset McLaughlin was about that that hit there. Ready to go. Now T. Willie coming out the bat. 
Switch hitter, first baseman for the Huskies. Now batting for the Huskies. Number eight, Tyler Wilson. I think it's neat that when I you know, when I do a PA announce, I can hear my voice echo. Yeah, that's I, what I can hear it bounce off of the school. See, I liked it even better at doing it for football because they had the speakers on the other side of the stadium shooting the sound back at you. Then you could really hear it. Exactly. Yeah, that was fun for me, but, you know, whatever you find joy in here, Benjamin. <laughs> the hardest part is, especially doing this, because I'm doing PA and a live broadcast, I'm used to hearing my voice come booming back at me. Ah. With this, I talk a lot quieter. That's, it's, it's very different for me. You don't have your voice like this. For the <laughs> that one goes for a strike. <laughs> don't have your PA strike voice. Strike one. I don't have, have PA my PA voice, voice on all the yeah. time. Oh, and one's count here. Two outs in the bottom of the third. Make that 0 oh and 2 as he fouls that pitch off. He had quite the spin on him, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, must have sliced that one pretty hard. And the pitch, bit upstairs. Count of stay, oh, excuse me, count of move to one and two. Upstairs, that one's practically in the guest bedroom. <laughs> the pitch. Same pitch. Same bedroom. Huh. A little even up to count of two and two. Two, two, two outs. Indeed. Nobody on here. Fouls that one off. Count will stay at two and two with two outs. Two, two, two. 222. If only it was Michael Bruiser, number 22 up to bat. Exactly. Then all we of do our have dreams. 22 behind the plate, though. That's very true for number 22. One's going to be fouled down the right field line. First base and not able to get a glove on it. And the count will yet again stay at two and two. Is there a limit for pitches gone? In high school, I believe so. How many foul balls? Foul, oh, you mean like per at bat? Yeah. I, there is not a limit as far as I know. No? He fouls off Tyler. another pitch there. Well, you know what, Benjamin? There is only mm -hmm. one run here in the bottom of this inning so far. With nobody on, we do have two, two, and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. We'll see if we can make it two runs in this inning. The solo shot here, I'm calling it. Pitch upstairs, that is going to move the count to a full count. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to answer your question earlier, I, there is not a limit as far as I'm aware of for pitches in and out bat. And with that pitch, that will end the inning on a swinging strikeout. Well, very quick inning. Michael Bruiser with a solo shot for one run to make the score 4-0 to zero against Indeed. Perry High. An opposite field solo shot to right center. Exactly. Deep part of the ballpark. He crushed that one. Mm hmm Well, as the Husky defense takes the field, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned for more. are back in the top of the fourth inning. Indeed. Indubitably. Your score heading into the fourth. Hamilton four, Perry zero. Shane Murphy still on the mound. Hunt. 
Oh, go on. right down the boulevard. First pitch, aggressive with the strike. That's what we like to see. Pitch goes for a ball. Oh, sorry. He's oh, no. No, absolutely. Oh, no, that's after you. <laughs> My apologies, Benjamin. You better be sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Always Are you, kidding. though? No. Sometimes I feel like you're not kidding, Benjamin. <laughs> The pitch, the crack of the bat, the catch, the throw, the out. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Ooh, I like that, Benjamin. The crack of the bat, the hit, the catch from the shortstop, the throw to first and get the out. Well, it's going to be the first out here in the top of the fourth, and it's going to bring up number 18 for the Pumas. That'll be Michael Zinter. Now batting for the Pumas. Number 18, Michael Zinter. The fans voicing their approval for Michael Zinter. He that definitely has one of the best flows I've seen so he far. He do. That pitch goes right the other way, by the way. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. You're fine. <laughs> he does. He does have a good head of hair. He does. He has an impressive head of hair. That pitch I'm there losing the most of my hair. What did you say there, Benjamin? I'm losing my hair. Benjamin. I have a receding hairline. You're 17 years old. I know you dress and act like an old man. Well, you tell me. <laughs> oh my goodness, Benjamin. That pitch will get him for a strike. One and two is the count. One out here in the top of the fourth. That oh my goodness, Benjamin, that was his confirming my resuscitation. The pitch from Murphy. Ooh, check swing, he got him. It's gonna be another strikeout for pitcher number 24, Shane Murphy. That'll bring up number 17 in the Pumas. Now batting for the Pumas, number 17, Ryan Lucero. I'm getting a little excited, Colin. <laughs> We're halfway through the game. Ryan Lucero, and you can see his hands are very close to him. High and upstairs. That's the same thing. But you can see he holds his hands very, very close to himself. You see that? He does. But it, oh, he's Oof. upset about that yeah, one. Yeah, did not like that hit there. That one's hitting the shallow right. Easy play for second baseman number seven, Brandon Hill. And that's going to end the top of the fourth inning. A very quick half inning there, don't you think, Benjamin? Oh, absolutely. That was lightning quick. Mm -hmm. One, two, three inning for the Huskies. We're going to take a short break as the Pumas take the field. We'll be back. Stay tuned for more. again everybody welcome back to Husky Field for the bottom of the fourth inning we're excited to be here the Huskies your score is 4-0 against the Pumas of Perry High School the pitch down low and banging on the trap door Move to count to 1-0 and oh. Collins working on a couple of technical things stuff I could never possibly fathom <laughs> indeed I am well, you're doing a fantabulous job calling the game there, Benjamin. I'm going to hey. let you take the reins here for a minute. Why, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Uh, absolutely. Count move to 2-0 for Will Maxey here up at the plate for the Huskies. Good eye. Good eye. 
Upstairs. Now still on the mound for the Pumas is number 11, Tyler Valdez. And still on the mound for the Huskies is number 24, Shane Murphy. Both pitchers still going strong. Shane Murphy pitching a beautiful game here so far. Exactly. Four scoreless innings, only four hits given up. Can't say the same for the Pumas, but we're exactly. not complaining over here at Husky Field, are we? <laughs> Will Max be able to work a walk there? His second walk of the day. They load up and drive one, Pete. Now batting for the Huskies. Number seven, Brandon Hill. B. Hill. B. Hill. Coming up to bat for the Huskies. B. Hill playing his second base for us here. And here comes a quick. Does a pretty swell job. We do have a meeting coming out on the mound. <laughs> it looks like we are going to see a pitching change here. Now coming in is number 14. Who is that? Logan Johnson for the Pumas coming into pitch now. Now let's see this. The pitch. Oh. Knocking on heaven's door. But again, it is the first pitch for him. Now they're upstairs. <laughs> Throwing some goodies. The pitch from Johnson. Right up the alleyway. I'm going to take a quick break. Well, Logan Johnson warms up. Stay tuned. Hill up at the plate for the Huskies. First pitch from Johnson. A little bit upstairs. The count to 1 and 0. Oh. It's in for an aggressive. One and one, no outs. The runner on first, fouled off. Will Maxi up there on first base. B Hill up at the plate. Logan Johnson on the mound for Perry High. The pitch, bit upstairs. Moving the count to two and two. Pick up attempt. No good. 
No bueno. And Logan Johnson reading the pitch from the catcher. Going to be the catcher is Case and Alexander. The ball. Now to make it a full count. Now I gotta say, Colin, this might be the first time I've ever seen Brandon Hill with a full count. Yeah, I believe it's the same for me. I've not seen him work a full count yet. Let's see what he can do here. So he can escape it. Runner goes. And he's gonna head back there off the pop up. Play is made. That's gonna be the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Runner will go back to first safely. Number nine, Kyle Hassler. Catcher number nine, Kyle Hassler, up to bat for the Huskies. First pitch, bit high. Count will be one and no. One out here in the bottom of the fourth, runner on first for the Huskies. Fastball gets him for a strike. Kind of leaving up at one and one. One, one, one out. Indeed. Saying one run is going to be, you know what, I'm going to say two runs. It's going to be two runs a second. Not a bad shots. prediction. Well, if Hassler goes yard here, that could in very indeed be the case. Exactly. We do have Brock Selvage. Indeed. Coming up to bat after Easton Irwin. Well, as long as the double play ball's not hit, you should be able to see both of them hit. Pitch in the dirt. Runner will stay at first. Move the count to two and one. Pickoff attempt. Not in time. Runner will be safe at first. That's Will Maxey on the bag after the walk. Worked earlier this inning. Two and one's the count. Here's pitch. Swing and a miss. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Let's see what he can do here. Pitcher threatens pickoff. He's going to hold on to it. Hazard's going to foul that one off. Count will stay at two and two. Indeed. Camera has taken a beating back there this season, although it's going strong. Indeed, it has. <laughs> The players have sent several balls at us, at our cameras. I don't think they like us too much. Some even at my car. I know. It's but you know what? When they hit a home run, they sure exactly. like us for their Twitter videos. So. Exactly. So maybe Bruiser. Maybe we'll see it on Bruiser's. Yeah, I think they need to knock it off. <laughs> two and two is the count. One out. Here's pitch. Bit outside. It's going to make it a full count. This is the... I want to say this is the third full count this inning. I don't remember if Will Max got a full count or not. I believe he did. Well, three full counts this inning. We haven't really seen a full count with Hashler this season. Let's see how he can work this out. What? There it goes. Well, that's a way to get out of it. It's going to pop one deep to center field. Play is made, and Max will head back over to first. It's going to be the second out of the bottom of the fourth. And it's going to bring up number one, Easton Irwin. Now 
batting for the Huskies. Number one, Easton Irwin. The Irman. The Irmeister. Irmeister. I like. Haven't seen a lot offensively out of Easton Irwin this year. Let's see what he can do here. And right on cue, pops one deep back. center. Oh, it makes right the center. catch. Mm -hmm. Impressive play is made, and that's going to do it for the top, or excuse me, the fourth inning. Your score after four, Hamilton four, Perry zero. Now I got to give it to Perry and the outfielder. I believe that was Michael Zinter, the man with the very nice head of hair. That was Michael Zinter. I thought it might be play. I believe so. it was as well. Good catch, Mr. Zinter. We're going to take a quick break as the Huskies defense take the field. We'll be back for more Husky baseball. Stay tuned. Puma Dugga getting rowdy now to start off. That one fouled off. An aggressive foul there. I'm having deja vu. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really weird. Count's going to be 0-1 after that foul ball. This, I'll tell you one thing, Colin. Shoot, go for it. This is strange. I'm having the worst deja vu right now. From what? I've been here before. I've done this before. Fouled off. You gotta but give no, me more. It's the exact Benjamin. same. I remember sitting here, the, you know, looking at this. I have a Perry, the lineup right next to me, the player hitting the, oops, sorry, hitting the foul ball and then turning around. Strike out there, another one for Shane Murphy. He's having himself a day out there on the mound. Let's go, Connor, get that first out in the fifth is gonna bring up number three for the Pumas. Now batting for the Pumas, number three, Connor Abernathy. Breaking ball there gets him for a strike. Nasty looking breaking ball. Indeed. But Benjamin, anyways, what were you saying about your deja vu moment? It's just weird. Very strange. Where have you seen this before? I don't know. You don't know where you've seen this before? How would you explain deja vu? I mean... Yeah, but Deja Vu, you've seen it before somewhere. Where have you seen it? We haven't played Perry yet I don't at home this year. That's why it's weird. <laughs> Fastball down low, gets it for a ball. Count will even up at one and one. One out here in the top of the fifth. Benjamin, I think it's just because we're out here too much. I think so. Coming up on our 10th or 11th game already this season we've broadcast. Indeed. As that ball goes for a strike. We have quite a bit more to do. Indeed. I'm hoping I'm I'm getting excited for state. Absolutely. Hopefully the boys can make a decent push. Check swing there, fouled off. Count will stay at one and two. But yeah, I'm hoping the boys will make a decent push this year and hopefully even make it all the way. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun for us. And for everyone, I'm sure. Indubitably. Indubitably. It's my word, Benjamin. It is your word. We looked it up. 
Oh, nasty breaking ball. Incredible for another strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Shane Murphy. He is on fire right now. Now batting for the Pumas. Number six, Dustin Crenshaw. Now this is a shortstop number six, correct, Benjamin? This is second baseman. A second baseman. I mean, I'm all over the place. I thought this was a shortstop. Well, that one hit. So it's going to be a hit to deep right center. Play is made by J.D. McLaughlin. That's going to be a 1-2-3 inning for the Huskies. An impressive inning on the mound for Shane Murphy and the Huskies defense. And as the Pumas take the field, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned for more. Benjamin, you're getting into the PA now. I'm getting into the PA now, Zay. I like it. Getting some enthusiasm out there for our Huskies. Indubitably. Indubitably. First pitch for Selvich is a bit upstairs. I'll go for a ball. It'll count on be 1-0. No outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Oh, excuse me, Benjamin. Go ahead. Excuse me. What I meant to say was, what if my voice was always like that? Your voice kind of is. In a way. <laughs> Breaking but ball there. I'm sorry, Ace. It goes for a ball. But if I talk like this all the time, I think I would pretty much go insane. I think I would go insane as well. Exactly, because I, I kind of have a little bit of an accent. I grew up around New York. Oh, wait, hi. Oh, my car. Yeah, I know, my car too. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's car and everyone is all right. Well, I don't hear an alarm. And again, my son, what if my sunroof is open right now in my car? Ooh. What if it goes right in there? I think, that, I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, at least you have a little present waiting for you on your ride exactly. home. Swing and a miss there. It kind of even up a two and two. Yeah, find a barrel. Find a barrel? What? This goal right here, Bob. Oh. You can see Selvich has almost like a golf swing there in his little warm-up swings he does. I kind of like that. I didn't even see it. If you watch him there, when he steps out of the box, he almost looks like he's taking a little golf swing. Oh! I see it now. Yeah, see, you like that? A little golf instructor Benjamin over here. Exactly. I know I know a thing or two about golf. I'll tell you that much. Well, not as much as I do, well, but... Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just playing around here full count. Oh, that one hit. Get over there. Let's go. Oh, going over. No one there to catch it. That's what I'm talking about. No one's going to roll back to the wall for a stand-up double for DH number five, Brock Selvage. An impressive hit up at the box. And that's going to bring up shortstop number four, Dustin Bermudez. Dustin Bermudez. Quick <laughs> <laughs> meeting on the mound. Here we go. Now batting for the Husky. Number four, Dustin Bermudez. That's what I'm talking about. Dang straight. <laughs> we got to keep it PG. <laughs> that was funny. Dang straight. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I try my best. 
Shortstop oh. number four, Dustin Bermuda's up at the plate. First pitch, gets him for a strike. That was a really good breaking ball. That was. That was nice. You see, I'm biased, but I'm not biased in a way. I do compliment the... You know a good pitch when you see him. Exactly. That was a very good pitch. So, hatch off to you, Tyler Valdez. No, that's not Tyler Valdez. <laughs> that's Logan Johnson? Logan Johnson. Hatch off to you, my friend. Oh, another one. I'll tell you what, this kid knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, 0-2 is the count for Dustin Bermudez. Does have a runner on second. On a runner in scoring position, as yeah. they say. No oh, outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Oh, and two is the count. Indubitably. Indubitably, indeed. Bermudez steps out. And back in. And there's the point. Here's the windup. Reads the pitch. Here's the pitch. Who it is? One's going to be smacked over to third baseman. We're going to hold him over at second and throw over to first in time for the first out of the bottom of the fifth. As the bruise man comes out to bat. Right, Mike, Indubitably. Go. Indubitably. <laughs> now batting for the Husky. Number 22, Michael Bruiser. Right, let's go trade places with him right here. I got to have these fans behind my back. They got to get excited. That's what I'm saying. Got to get these, these stands riled up. Then again, it is my job, too. It's a, part of it's my job. Most of it is the player's job. <laughs> Ooh, very high pitch. That one knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> oh, I promised Colin no singing today, and I messed it up. I'm sorry. It's all right. We'll let that one slide. That, knock, one, knock, that one was knock, in context. We'll let yes, that one go. One of those account for the bruise man, Michael Bruiser. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Runner on second for him. Here's pitch. We call that one a strike, kind of leaving up at one and one. That one was a bit outside. It did look a bit outside. Perhaps we'll have to go to the replay review for that one. I wish we had that. Well, we kind of do. If you go on our, so there's a brief delay, for those of you who don't know. So what you're watching now. Just seconds after what's going on in real life, but exactly. just a brief delay. Fish go for a ball, two and one's the count. One out with one runner in scoring position here, that Husky fail. What was that accent there, Benjamin? Who knows? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Two and one's the count. One out. Bottom of the fifth. Here's pitch. Breaking ball. Hi, right, upstairs. It's going to move the count to three and one. I like Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, my God. That's very otherwise. What's the deal with the airline peanuts? <laughs> What's the deal? I used to be able to do a pretty decent Seinfeld impression. Exactly. I feel like I've fallen off. Or fallen I feel off, excuse me. Fell off. It's been a long day. It was hard to get through school without you today, Benjamin. I bet it was. Ooh. Oh, wait, I like that. He hesitated. Wait. Well, he, Bruiser are able to work a walk there. That's going to put runners on first and, se first and second. I think it's the me. first walk I've ever seen for Mike Bruiser. Oh. And it's going to bring up number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. I just want to be like you, Ben. Now batting for the Husky. Number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. Get on it. Ooh, yay, yay. <laughs> Come on, folks. Get up. Get excited. McLaughlin up at the plate. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Runners on first and second. That pitch up in the guest bedrooms. <laughs> That's my line. I know. I'm stealing your lines. You're stealing my lines. It's mayhem here at Husky Field. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Benjamin. You're killing me, Smalls. Name the movie. Uh, that's it's the it's Sandlot. The Sandlot. Sandlot. I know it. Just took me a second. That ball was pretty inside. Yeah, so off speed there strike. gets him for a strike. Now, for those of you, I, well, all of you know who Colin and I are, but not a, not a whole lot of you have seen us. Going back to Seinfeld, I'd say I'm very much built like Kramer. Would you say? I don't know. I haven't watched a whole lot of Seinfeld. Jeez, you're too young. Benjamin, Before I'm older time. than you. I'm aware. Pick off attempt. I went right at its head. Not on purpose, though. I have to say that now, because I got in trouble last time I did that. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> How'd you get in trouble last time? Well, remember when I said, that one was intentional. Can we hit him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say that. Yeah, who told you that? You. Oh, that's right. You did, yeah. and then I think one of the coaches, you won't say who, also told me. 
Oh, that one goes past the first baseman. That one's going to sneak into right Here field. Here he comes. He's rounding third. He's heading for home. Selvage. Nate home. It's going to be the fifth run scored for the Huskies. Off the base hit from right fielder. Number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. You have another meeting out on the mound. Thank you, Colin. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm looking out for you, Benjamin. Okay, I'm, I almost went for it. You thought I was cutting you off there for your PA. No, I'm looking out for you. I don't, I'm in your best interest. Thank you. Now I can go. Yeah, now you can go. Now batting for the Husky. Number eight, Tyler Wilson. Can I get a T. Willing? Can I get a T. Willing? <laughs> T. Willie. First baseman, T. Willie, switch hitter for the Huskies. Now, I was informed the last game that, oh, i got to clear the count. I was informed that Tyler Wilson used to be a catcher. Oh, really? And then, unfortunately, he had shoulder, that's uh, foul ball. Unfortunately, he had soldier, shoulder surgery. And... Now he plays first base. Oh, well, that's unfortunate for him, but he does do a swell job playing first over there. Does do a stand-up job. <laughs> well, stand-up, <laughs> that last game we did, he had a layout play over there at first, an incredible diving catch on the line on a smoked ball. An incredible defensive play over at first. I think he's doing just fine over there. Oh, yeah. Go recognize. And I do remember his stand-up triple. Yes. This was the last game as well. Yeah. Basha high. Tyler Wilson's a great all-around player for the Huskies, mm -hmm. even with the surgery. Great outset for the team. He is down in the count right now, 0-2, however, with one out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Runners on first and second for him. Not happy with that one as he pops that one up just outside of the infield. Second. Oh! Second baseman's going to drop the ball, and they do have lead runner in a pickle. And... However, it works that will end the inning for the Pumas. Either way, whether they caught the ball or got him out in the infield. I'm confused. Well, what happened there was the runners stayed on the bags because there's a pop up. There's two outs, or one out, it looks like. But, uh. Well, I guess no matter what, it's two outs now. It looks three like outs. three outs, yeah. But the uh, ball was dropped and. So runners had to go because Tyler Wilson had to be on first. But they didn't call it an infield fly, did they? I do not believe they did, no. Hmm. Let's try it. We're going to take a quick break. Ah, we will be back. Oh, before we go, we want to hear a quick joke? Yeah. I guess. Lay it on us, Benjamin. So, uh, so my wife is divorcing me on account of my poor sense of direction. You know, so I packed my things and write... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we will that, be back. We will be back. Thank you for listening. Thank Stay you for tuned. laughing. Well, welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Entering the game for in place of Brandon Hill is number three, Isaiah Adams. Yes. The indeed. pitch. High ball going right to second base. Shortstop Dustin Bermuda is there to make the play. About to bring up CJ Valdez. One pitch, one out. That's a way to start an inning, don't you think, Benjamin? Exactly. Speaking of which, let me get the count right. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Was that one my fault, Benjamin? No, I think I was just too nervous. <laughs> Ooh, that's a heat on that one. Fastball there goes for a ball. Count will be one and no. One out here in the top of the sixth. 
Off speed there, low. Count of moves to 2-0. Oh. That one hit. And he made the catch. <laughs> now the that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Puma, Puma dugout shouting later ball until Bruiser got a hold of it there in center exactly. field to retire the batter. That's what we like to see. That'll be the second out here in the top of the sixth. I like it. Now batting for the Puma. Number 22, Kaysen Alexander. Well, the bruised man does get a hold of things. Indubitably. Shane Murphy still on the mound for a Huskies. He's pitching a gem out there. Four hits, no runs allowed. Shutout game so far through five. Well, yeah, through five and into the sixth mm -hmm. inning currently. But unfortunately, it isn't a no-hitter. No, not quite. Yep. Oh, we will take this. Breaking ball. What a pitch. That ball's going to go for a strike. Count will be 0-1. That was nasty. That was a nasty breaking ball. No, oh, another one. Straight up the alleyway. 0-2 oh, is the count here. Two outs in the top of the sixth. Shane Murphy working here on the mound. The whole Huskies defense working so far. Michael Bruiser with a nice play out in center. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And another powerful inning from the Huskies defense. And pitcher number 24, Shane Murphy. He is clicking right now. He is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Six wow. scoreless innings, only four hits allowed. And the Huskies offense isn't doing too shabby either with five runs through five innings. Mm -hmm. Going into the bottom of the sixth. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. Stay tuned for more. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom of the sixth inning. Indubitably. 5-0 is your score. Huskies up five runs. Third baseman number 20, Will Maxey, up the box right now. First pitch there, going to go for a ball. Thank you again. Count is 1-0. That one's going to even up the count at one and one. I'm sorry there, folks. I had a visitor. Oh, no. No worries at all. Now, we have a new pitcher on the mound. Oh, we do. Luke. Didn't even notice that. Wow. Breaking ball there. Goes for a ball. Two and one will be the count. Let's just call him Luke. Because Who is that? Number 10? Dehogny? 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 I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. I'm well, yeah, sure. we'll stick with Luke for now. Yeah, let's stick with Luke. Fastball there. He's going to pop that one up in the shallow Center. right. Got to make the catch. 
That'll be the first out here in the top of the sixth inning. Or excuse me, the bottom of the sixth inning. Isaiah Adams, a new second baseman up to bite. Oh, up to bat now. Oh, tongue tied. Now batting for the Husky. Number three, Isaiah Adams. First pitch there is a bit high. Go for a ball. Want to know will be the count. Isaiah Adam. Ooh. Sorry, I'm sure you all heard the ump just said three for nine. It should be three for seven, I believe. It might have been a double switch, too. I'm not really sure what's all happening there. So that pitch in the dirt will move the counts two and two and oh, excuse me. But yeah, he is playing second base now in place of number seven, Brandon Hill. Just played a swell game so far. Come on, that pitch up in the guest bedroom. Three and O's the count. Benjamin, I'm just stealing all your lingo now. I know, it's kind of sad. <laughs> this is what you do to old people. Perfect, you elders call it. Sorry, Benjamin. Oh, it's almost six o'clock, time to reapply. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, strike ball. That's going to make the count three and one here with one out in the bottom of the sixth. Isaiah Adams, second baseman up to bat. Are you trying to imitate me? No. That sounds I would never like try me. to imitate you. Get on the sack. Oh, get there, get there, get that out, boy. Able to beat the throw from the third baseman on the chop hit. It's going to be a hit for the Huskies. He'll stay on first. And it's going to bring up number two, Jose Valenzuela. Now batting for the Husky, number two, Jose Valenzuela. Do they, do they just call him Josela? <laughs> it's a cute little nickname. I like that. Chuck swing there. It was actually fouled. You got a little piece of it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I like to imitate the dugout. They're funny people. That pitch there, gonna get him for a strike. 0 oh 2 will be the count. One out here, runner on first for Jose Valenzuela. That one no good. Go for a ball. Count will be one and two. With one out in the bottom of the sixth. Runner goes in the throw. Nowhere close, Adam. Isaiah Adams. No, it, uh, ah. Isaiah Adams is safe. <laughs> Now, was that a pitch out attempt? Uh, it might have been. Well. I was fixing something technically there. Yeah, indeed you were. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one, two and two. Well, Isaiah Adams will steal successfully there. He'll be on second base now in scoring position for Jose Valenzuela, who is even the count at two and two here with one out in the bottom of the sixth. The pitch. Oh! He's going to smack that one over to third. He's going to threaten to throw to second, and he will throw over to first to retire Jose. That'll be the second out of the bottom of the sixth. It's going to bring up number one, Easton Irwin. Now batting for the Husky. Number one, Easton Irwin. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, getting the crowd a little hyped here. I like it. I need to. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> well, runner on second for Easton Irwin up at the plate. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Let's see what they can do here. First pitch, check swing. I'll go for a ball. One of those count. 
Another beautiful day here at Husky Field. Can't get over this. Indeed. Great baseball oh, weather. Slight breeze. Cool down significantly, I would say, oh, since yeah. first pitch. It's nice. Can't complain. One of those count. Here's pitch. Oh, yeah. That one's going to be hit hard down the left field line for a foul. Now, what you do see here, you, you really can't see, but I can see it. Tally Wright is on deck for the Huskies in place of Brock Selvich. Ah, do you think he might be coming in to pitch now for the Huskies? I wouldn't think he'd be pitching. I think he'd be the DH for Brock Selvich. Or DH for the pitcher, basically, hitting in place. Well, yeah, but normally DHs don't change throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Might be coming in to relief for Shane Murphy. Ooh, that one way high. Runner will advance over to third. That happens. I've personally never done it, but it happens. <laughs> so, more, just more jokes. I'm full of them. Full of laughs. If you say so, Benjamin. Oh, I know so. <laughs> Well, with that wild pitch, it's going to move the runner over to third. And that is still in scoring position. Two and one's the count. Good eye, Good eye, Good eye kid. Now three and one's the count. Two outs. One runner is scoring position. What will he do? The pitch. That one's going to be fouled up. Just out of play. Hit the umbrella. Oh, those are expensive umbrellas. <laughs> All right, Colin. It's not a movie moment, Benjamin. I'm not giving in, no matter how much you try to persuade me. We are up by five runs. Go find a barrel if eight. one time I miss it and you say it, <laughs> I'm going to be really upset. Well, that's going to be the one time it actually is, the time I say it. That one chopped a third, throw over to oh, first. Oh, and he made it, and Isaiah Adams takes home. That's what I'm talking about, eh? <laughs> that will be a run for the Huskies off the error from the Pumas. Throw not able to be handled at first, and the run will score. And Easton Irwin will safely reach on first. That's what I'm talking about. Look at Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Your score now, Hamilton 6, Perry 0. I like it. I like it. Now batting for the Huskies, number 25, Tally Wright. Well, as you just heard Woo! there, Tally Wright, the new batter in for the Huskies. This is the man. He's the man to do it. The pitch. A little high. Pretty powerful pitcher. Let's see what he can do here at the plate. One of those count his pitch. Two and oh. Two and oh. Two outs here. Runner on first for a new batter, number 25, Tally Wright, here Tally in the Wright. bottom of the sixth inning. Another guy who knows what he's doing. Absolutely. Another leader on this team as well. So wind picks up here at Husky Field. That one's going to hit Tally, and he will take first. And the runner at first, Easton Irwin, will advance over to second. Now Ty Corcoran, oh, what, what is this? We got a whole bunch of new players. Ty Corcoran now coming up to bat. Ty Corcoran in place of Dustin Bermudez. We're gonna see a little meeting up at the mound. Well, Ty Corcoran's coming up to bat. He does have runners on first and second now. With two outs. Indeed. So is he the man to do it? I he think we're gonna be. find out very soon. I do not believe we've seen him get a hit yet so far in the games we've broadcasted this season. See if he can break that now. A great opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. One of the runners in scoring position as they wrap up their meeting on the mound. <laughs> He's going to stay on the plate out by the mound. My apologies. It's tight warping here. Now batting for the Husky, 
Number 13, Ty Corcoran. Come on, folks, get excited, get up! Benjamin, I think we need to get some cheerleaders. I'll be the cheerleader. I think you'd make a great cheerleader, Benjamin. First pitch for Ty Corcoran. It's going to be hit high and foul, out of play. Pretty close to us, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, a little too close for comfort. With counts 0 and 1. Then again, we've had one come straight back at us. That's true. We have had some balls launched at it. We have been saved by the fence on several occasions. Mm -hmm. Owen one's the count here. Two outs in the bottom of the six. Runners on first and second for the Huskies. Whoa. Pitch. Ooh. Knock, knock, knocking on Heaven's Door there. That was more inside. I don't know we call that one. That one's that one was pretty up, upstairs. Up in the balcony. Oh, up in the balcony. I'll take that. That one's upstairs on the balcony. <laughs> Well, whatever you want to call it, that'll even up the count on one and one. <laughs> Indubitably. Fastball there is going to be fouled off again. Four. On the top of our field house, concession stand there. Off uh, of the school bus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Probably not. That would be a little unfortunate there. That would be. One and two is the count. Luke reading the pitch. Here's the pitch. Down low. Too low in the basement. Go, make him run, Ty. Make him run. It's going to even up the count on two and two with two outs. Close. One more ball. And you know what that means. Not a movie moment, Benjamin. No, it's just a very dramatic moment. Oh, what a hit. He got a hit. The throw eight. In time. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. That'll be Ty. Yeah. A nice up, base folks. hit by Ty Corcoran. RBI single there. It's going to keep the inning alive as well. And advanced base runners. Now batting for the Husky. Number 22, Michael Bruiser. Woo! <laughs> Man, folks, got to get excited. The Bruise Man, the back Bruce up to bat. Runners on first and second for him here. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball there, gets him for a strike. That was a good pitch. Did sneak Nasty, one but a good one. <laughs> the count will be 0 and 1 for the Bruise Man, number 22, Michael Bruiser. Playing center field for the Huskies today. Mm -hmm. Per usual. Yeah, it's had a nice catch out there on defense already. A couple of them. Yeah. That one low and in the dirt is going to make the count 2 and 1. <laughs> the wind picks up here in Husky Field and almost knocks Benjamin's papers everywhere. Almost blows me away. <laughs> Sneezes in the dugout. One runner is going with this in the pitch. Down low. Good eye, good eye. Good eye. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> two runners on. Counts two and one. Still two outs. Score 7 0. In the bottom of the sixth inning. Big hitter for the Huskies up too. Let's see what he can do here. Here's pitch. Fastball. Oh, popped up. Drop it, drop it. Oh, he dropped it. No. Oh, no. That'll be one run home. And that'll be another run home. Two run home. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll take whatever we can get. That will keep the inning alive for the Huskies. Batting up there at the bottom of the sixth. Oh, no, I, I feel really bad for the guy. Will be another error for the Pumas. The fourth run of this sixth inning for the Huskies. Impressive. Now batting for the Huskies. Number 23, J.D. McLaughlin. Go, J.D. Let it travel. Woo! 
That's what I'm talking about. Well, JD comes up now. He's got a runner in scoring position. Mm. His buddy Michael Bruiser over there at second. I'm calling it. Hey, he's actually. Got a bag? Well, that one hit well. That was a great catch. Right yeah, to the center fielder. Huh? Way over. Yeah, that was a long inning. A lot of offense there for the Huskies. Mm -hmm. Your score after six. Hamilton nine. Perry nothing. That's what we like to see. Now we are going into the seventh inning. So. Take me out to the ball <laughs> game. Take me out to the crowd. Colin, what do we do next? I think we buy some peanuts and cracker jacks. Buy me jacks. some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. Let me root, root, root for the Huskies. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. strikes you're out at the old ball game. Wow. Let's get some runs. I'm glad we could share that moment together, Benjamin. It's been a pleasure. All right, well, after you just had to sit through that, <laughs> we're going to take a break now. We'll let you rest up your ears after that. <laughs> we'll be back here for the top of the seventh as Shane Murphy takes him out again for the Huskies. Stay tuned for more. Going back. Oh, Off the fence. Well, oh, a standout double for Bryson Tamboni of the Perry Pumas. Now, batting for the Pumas. Number 18, Michael Zinter. Oh, now you all cheer? Really? <laughs> Michael Zinter up to bat for the Pumas. No outs here in the top of the seventh. Runner on second. That one's going to be hit. Shane, Shane Murphy. Oh. Yeah. Get him in time. Get the out. Wow. wow. An incredible defensive play by Shane Murphy. He is just, I don't even know how to describe his performance out there today. Good. Great. Grand. Six scoreless innings so far. Wow. Only giving up five hits, and he gets the out there on the diving play off the mound. Throws it from his knees over to first. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Benjamin, what do you think of that? Wow. How can uh, you say that backwards? Wow. <laughs> that is some effort to show late in this game. He is still pitching, trying to pitch a full game here. Just now we're, now we're wow. seeing a meeting on the mound. I'm not sure what it's about. I think they might just be giving him a second to breathe here. A second to... Recoup after that. That was an incredible play, though. Took an awkward bounce coming back at him. Got down on his knees to stop it. Threw it from his knees over to first base. Mm -hmm. Just in time to and got the out. Wow. Don't see that effort out of a lot of pitchers in the first inning, let alone the seventh. Exactly. After pitching now all seven innings. On. Atta boy. Incredible. They're going to let him finish this or attempt to finish this one out here. Now batting for the Puma. Number 17, Ryan Lucero. No, Claude, I didn't mean to tell you. This is my private, private matter. <laughs> well, matter. I'm glad we can discuss it on stream. Exactly, live. <laughs> I have uh, two job interviews now. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that? New, new, new golf courses. The pitch. Oh, breaking, breaking nasty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Murphy, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Incredible, incredible performance. We haven't performance. seen a lot out of Shane Murphy, and here it is, giving it all. I wish we've seen more out of Shane Murphy, frankly. One Pass one. ball there. Run will score for the Pumas. However, it might be a little too too little too late, <laughs> frankly. Exactly. Here in the top of the seventh. 
who will be the first earned run of the game. Mm-hmm. And that will... Shane Murphy scoreless scoreless games out the window uh, now. It's really well, unfortunate. He's, He's pitched, pitched a gem. It. Exactly. An absolute gem so far. Break Oh my <laughs> goodness. Just incredible. <laughs> yeah. Where's the whip pick up? The umbrellas do too. <laughs> the pitch. That was low. That's quite alright though. Good stop by Hasler there. Able to keep it in front of him there with the base runner. But no, over at World. Oh, actually, Golf no base Club runners now. Sorry. And Mesa Country Club. Beautiful golf courses. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. And another strikeout for pitch number 24, Shane Murphy. Wow. This may be potentially the last batter of the game. Indeed. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. We'll see what Murphy can do and the rest of the Huskies defense. for the Pumas, number 25, Adam Hara. Check swing there, doesn't go. Count will be 1-0. and oh. Gets him there for the strike, though. Count will even up a 1-1. One one. Come on, Shane. Give it all you've got. Finish strong. Counts even at one and one. Here's a pitch. Breaking ball there. Not able to get it over the plate, though. Well, a little too high for him. I'm calling it full count. We'll see. Two and ones to count currently. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Let's see what Murphy can do. Gets a first strike. Maybe. I'm calling it full count. It's going to be. Two and two is the count. It might just be. Unless he can get on con, uh, a swing and a miss to end the game right yeah, here. You know what? That, that's also possible. I think it's going to be a breaking ball. Got him. Well, just in between. It's breaking. You get the breaking ball. I get the strikeout. Well, it's a 2-3 count. <laughs> that's close enough to a full count. Folks, that's the ball game. Yeah, either way, however we predicted it, that will end the game with the strikeout there. An absolutely incredible performance by pitcher number 24, Shane Murphy. Oh, absolutely. Pitched the full game today for the Huskies, allowing only one run, and it was late in the seventh inning when it didn't really matter all that much. Exactly. But pitched a gem, an absolute gem on the mound. Mm-hmm. Saw now, the opposite air- field shot from, excuse me, opposite field shot from Michael Bruiser earlier in the game. Mm-hmm. Some great offense out of the Huskies and just a great team win. Exactly. Tyler Wilson with the triple. Earlier, Indeed. getting uh, two runs in, that that helped a ton. Got to see some players off the bench we don't normally get to see too. Get some exactly. like, playing time and now, some Ty exposure. Corcoran with a, a the, great the first hit, hit we've yeah. seen, single. Yeah, a great RBI single too, adding to this Husky win. Well, with that, that's gonna do it for us here at Husky Field. Your final, Hamilton nine, Perry one. Wow. Our next game's gonna be tomorrow against Chandler. You can Chandler tune in to High watch School. here again, same time, 4 o'clock. The Battle of Arizona Avenue. Indeed. Be there, be square, here at Husky Field, 4 o'clock, and we'll see you then. Well, actually, if you don't want to be there, you could watch on stream. That it's also too. a great alternative. might even be the better alternative, frankly. <laughs> you get to hear my majestic voice more often. Indeed. Well, kind of. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, this is Benjamin Gerdick, the voice of Hamilton High. And this is Colin Hansen signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, and see we'll you guys see you next tomorrow. Time.